Hey guys, this is Cosmo and welcome back to SnowRunner. Now we still have a fair bit of um, White Valley Alaska to uncover and a few upgrades to be honest. Uh, I'm kind of wondering where they may be. Uh, we're going to be taking the... Um, the... what was it? The MK out, MK38, uh, which, well, <laughs> it's a great truck, especially if uh, you have all that fuel available to use. Um, we'll be heading out to this watchtower here, getting that unlocked and hopefully seeing some upgrades. Uh, but we do have a fair bit of the map uh, that is not going to be unlocked by this watchtower, uh, more or less uh, this top here. So we'll have to go through it manually and hopefully uh, we saw that there's a truck here. I think this is maybe like a quest or something. Uh, hopefully it's, a, it's an upgrade, but either way this uh, will mark uh, the end of our adventure in Alaska at the release for the time being. Uh, Alaska has been fun, I can't wait to get back to Alaska, but I really want to finish up uh, our uh, entire contract line in Michigan before we head out here. Uh, we still have a fair bit of things to do in Michigan, both infrastructure as well as contracts, but uh, we've uh, went on a, like, by this point I think, what, 10, 15 episode? Uh, sidestep into Alaska for the sake of getting upgrades, getting some new trucks, which we did. And uh, just uh, gearing up for the road ahead. Although I think I may have lied, it's possible we'll do another episode uh, because we will want to recover the dairy longhorn. Uh, and we'll do that with the caterpillar 745, 745C, the heavy, axled, twisty, weird thing. Okay, so the watchtower is there. Oh, there's a cool cargo plane here. That's always nice. And a huge runway. You guys do know that I have an entire desire just to go to the end of the runway and see if there's anything there. It's like that usual... Uh, thing uh, that uh, you get in like RPGs where there's this um, where under every waterfall there's a treasure for sure ooh, 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 easy there this strong this uh, strong this truck is too strong for its own good so drink equipment oversized cargo consumables okay got it just got just made a quick check up and see what uh, I can get from the spot here oh wow five out of five we are going max speed there's a little service road here again i'm just doing this manually because for sure the watchtower doesn't uh, reach the spot and in case there is any kind of uh, uh, upgrade part, it will have to be uncovered uh, manually. Either way, we crossed through here. Can't say I see anything here. And hmm, let's. Uh, we'll have to get up here anyway. So let's uh, use this little side path. Let's see what we can see here. It's all gonna be nice. Again, I really like the MK. I mean, there's not much not to like about it, as long as you consider that uh, you will have to be very careful with, with its fuel consumption. It uh, climbs to like 10, 15 liters a minute really quickly, depending on uh, conditions. And you can't really manage it with your full um, with your full uh, all-wheel drive and differential lock, lock active all time. You pretty much will uh, end up in a situation at some point where well, there's nothing you can do. You know, it will cost you exactly that much fuel to reach that position. Usually, you can just turn off all-wheel drive on some trucks uh, when you're like a bit down 
down to like I know 100 liters or something just to save it up, but not with this truck. Uh, we do have uh, an upgrade part here, which is cool. It's a good thing we went this way. It's possible that this would not have been covered by the watchtower, so this is something we are gonna be unlocking. Uh, let's see what what it is. I we still have to unlock the race suspension for the Hummer, but I don't care about it at all, so I'm just hoping it's not that. <laughs> Uh, is the race suspension for the Freightliner 114 SD? What the hell is that? I think it's one of the highway trucks. Which, I mean, I, <laughs> knowing that, I think I probably would have wanted the race suspension for the Hummer. I uh, am not a big fan of the... Well, to be honest, I haven't used them. I really haven't used them that much. Uh, but uh, by their role, they don't really fit that well in the game. I get that uh, you may want to use them for you know, speed-wise, you know, just more efficient. But most trucks can do uh, that, uh, you know, calling it via road anyway, without too big of an issue. So uh, I just find that they're a bit superfluous. Kind of maybe even like the scout trucks to a certain point. Because, you know, I, I should be doing this with a scout truck, right? But I'm not. Just because these have bigger tires, just make make going through harsh terrain a lot easier. So, of course, I'm going to be going with a truck that gets me where I need to go. Instead of going with a small truck, which well, doesn't have many other advantages. Sure, it can go through uh, certain areas easier, I mean, in terms of uh, how big it is, but that matters relatively little. We've gone through some very tight turns and tight areas with these big trucks without that much of an issue. Okay. Trucks and investigations discovered. Okay, cool. And another upgrade discovered. That's great. So we'll, we'll head down, get back down from here. And head over, and yoink that upgrade, and I think uh, I'll uh, definitely check uh, some sources <laughs> uh, and check if see if we missed any upgrades in Alaska. I'll probably grab them off screen if we did. I don't think so. I think uh, that may exactly be the last one, the last uh, one for the. Hummer that we still have to get in here. I don't remember any other upgrades being locked behind Alaska. Straight across? That sounds wonderful. Presenting to you, ladies and gentlemen, the AMK MK38. ANK, right? It's ANK? ANK. Just going through trees, five feet of snow, and whatever this river is throw out at me without any kind of issue. It's fantastic. Let's grab this. Engageable all-wheel drive for... Oh, okay, Freightliner 104 is the... I should probably just check what that is. But I think for sure it's one of the highway trucks. Uh, either way, I think by this point there is no real uh, reason for us to... Return. I mean, to you know, take the long way around. We should probably just recover the garage and yeah, let's recover to the garage. Just make this a bit uh, faster. Let's uh, leave it. Let's uh, grab this quest from here. And 
yeah, with the race suspension and with the power it has, this just feels like a you know wild ride. It's a very powerful truck, so you have to be really careful with it around. Uh, you know, just generally not overpowering your terrain, I guess. Taking corners too fast. Seems like someone's tried to tap into our pipeline again. Security is already on the case, but I doubt they'll find much. That said, they did leave their unmarked trailer behind. Could you tow it for us? Okay. Not sure that uh, I knew that this was a problem. Just someone just tapping into high-pressure oil lines and nicking oil. Doesn't it need to be like mm, uh, not fabricated, but uh, you know, refined some way or somehow? Anyways, let's just uh, head down the road. Pass by the fuel station, just get that uh, unlocked and see what this uh, truck here is. need to go uh, from through the back here I think there's like a route I think it'd be wise just to go through for whatever uh, reasons see if there's any upgrades there see if there's uh, any trailers we can unlock and stuff like that uh, yeah I think we should just head straight down at this point because there's guardrails there Let's head right straight through this pristine white snow. One out of five, that should be about the speed we need to go. No real use uh, pushing the engine too fast, but or tipping, tipping would be truly bad. It's kind of hard to manage the, uh, because you don't really know what terrain is underneath this, you can kind of get an idea, but you know, have all these trees making these holes, I'm not sure how those influence the terrain under them or something like that, it's just, uh, you can't really get a good idea of how much snow there is, I guess. a quest uh, sure it's a bit of a long story but i managed to leave my truck's engine running overnight now i'm more or less standard, stranded at the boat station without enough gas to start my car could you help me uh okay where do i need to take you maybe i can haul you out but where do you need taking oh back to parking uh you know what yeah i guess i can do that it's uh, not exactly on my way but uh, that's totally something I can do, especially because I'm in the right truck. So yeah, let's do that. Let's help this guy out. Wow. The amount of power this truck has is silly. I think it has the high-powered winch. Come on, let's go. That should be 
close enough. Just because it's so powerful and because you can get to such high speeds uh, on this kind of terrain, uh, you end up in a very weird situation where you're bouncing more than you want to bounce just because you're well, hitting terrain harder than you may want. Yeah, the ice. Actually, let's uh, let's uh, check it out. Yep, this is frozen solid. Well, this section of it, at least. And I did shit my pants for a second because I heard the ice cracking, but apparently that was just some tree falling on the ice or something. Well, the sound effect is there, which is entirely scary. But uh, I haven't seen any ice cracking on the UN. I don't think that's an option. So let's uh, just deliver this dude. Uh, did I miss a, a turn? I don't think so. Nope, I didn't. I was just uh, incredibly efficient. have to restore it right 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 okay but, uh, let's do this let's uh, refuel it does it need to do anything else rather than getting refueled uh, yeah sure let's re do the winch let's fuel this back up uh, of course we cannot repair it because we have any repair options we just have the spare wheels so let's uh, recover this very quickly uh, for once, let's actually grab the load star and in the garage. In fact, it's uh, just straight ground until from here to there. For once, I don't think this should have any issues. I hope it wouldn't have any issues. And yeah, we still have to. Oh god, yeah, okay, come on, easy, get on the road. Uh, we still have to get the race suspension for this, which is in Alaska. Still, I, I will have to take my time and go over what I'm missing in terms of upgrades that I want in Alaska. Maybe after I finish uh, exploring uh, White Valley, maybe I'm just uh, completely entirely missing a few secret spots. I thought I was very thorough, but it's possible I wasn't. Let's uh, repair this. Yes. Man, you have no idea how glad I am to see you. It gets real cold here, even indoors. And I've been sitting here for quite a while before you showed up. Thanks again. You're very much welcome, dude. Uh, let's uh, recover this. We don't need it. Let's get back to the MK. And let's head out once again. We could legitimately... Hmm. Yeah, okay, legitimately we could just uh, start heading out up on this path now. We uncovered the fuel station and we uh, saw what, what, what that truck was there. Uh, 
but yeah, minus uh, certain uh, locations. Uh, Alaska has been pretty well behaved. At this point, I have explored all of Alaska. All of the Alaskan areas. And it has been relatively uh, well behaved. I can't say I've had uh, much problems or many issues in Alaska. Minus one or two recovery operations for a certain truck, which I will not mention. But it's been uh, relatively well behaved. I don't think we'll have too big of an issue with it. But, you know, we'll see. I, I thought I didn't have much of an issue in Michigan as well, but hey, once you start hauling things that are three times as big as your truck, you issues start to come up. Uh, as for Russia... Baited breath. <laughs> As for Russia, uh, I don't think I'll be going into Russia, at least not until we've solved the fair deal of Michigan, of uh, Alaska, unless we actually end up with some serious issues. I don't think so. Destruction Alaska are not too. Not that much stronger, but they are decently strong. Oh wow, this is some serious mud. Ooh, sweet baby Jesus. This is some serious mud. I think for sure we'll need a much... Oh, and is that a semi-trailer? Oh wow. That's a semi-trailer that we would, would need to pull out of here. Wow. That's gonna be insane. I mean... Look at this. Just look at this. This is some truly terrible mud. Almost... Full wheel height. Let's just get out of this. Uh, it's been noted that it's a uh, large uh, semi trailer, so I think that needs a uh, low mount, a low saddle. But we are not. I mean, we can't even pull it because it has like the little legs that hold it up, so we can't even pull it with the truck. So that's something that we'll be doing sometimes in the future not gonna bother with it right now let's continue on we still have a little thing to check out basically yeah we'll be taking a right here swinging by this uh, house which has like a trailer and maybe an upgrade option and then just uh, dropping down through here and see what uh, this is looks like a warehouse or something probably warehouse just get that uh, unlocked and that would be more or less everything to explore in alaska we will uh, be returning maybe in the next in the next episode to get that dairy longhorn but we will see i kind of feel maybe i should uh, little break from Alaska. I know, maybe you guys are tired of seeing this. Either way, we have done a lot in our time in Alaska. I mean, we've been through... We've upgraded like two or three trucks fully. We've uh, unlocked like a total of four new trucks, five new trucks. I don't know, it's just been a really fruitful uh, endeavor. Even though it took us a very long time, probably took me more than I thought it would. Just getting all of Alaska uncovered. I mean, we haven't even gotten to the point where we are doing contracts in Alaska, right? And those are the meat and potatoes of the game.
trailer with the iron beams in it. There were steel beams. And I was uh, really hoping we would be getting an uh, upgrade here, but apparently that's not in the cards. So yeah, we definitely are missing a few uh, hidden upgrades. I'll uh, check my sources and uh, see where they are, and maybe just uh, get them off screen because they're nothing important. And I think you guys have seen... Oh! Upgrade. <laughs> I've seen more than enough of me uh, scouting Alaska. You know what, let's grab this one. Uh, C, Ray Suspension. Let's get it for the Hummer. No. <laughs> Oh, actually, we needed this. We really needed this. Um, it was one of the things I kind of wanted to get. Uh, basically, this was the last thing that um, we needed for the twin steer. Now, the twin steer, it's a weird truck, but it's probably the best truck when you want to transport, uh, you know, haul like even over some nasty roads, uh, but through mud and stuff. If you want to uh, transport like four units of cargo, doesn't matter what it is, without leaving like a trailer in the middle of nowhere, that's exactly the truck you need. I'm probably going to use uh, the twin steer a lot on uh, Island Lake to get all of those um, things done, all of those bridges done. left is the thing we want to do here. There we go. This is a logging camp. Cool. Let's uh, get this quest. At this mud. Insert my comment of how logging camp should put some of those logs uh, down here so we can just have some traction in our trucks. Uh, I'm marked around the local sawmill. I was thinking of expanding my warehouse, but the issues that the bricks I ordered I didn't make it here because of the recent earthquake. Could you fetch them for me? I guess I could, but probably not right now. Uh, I think uh, this has... Hmm, let's head down the road here uh, and pass by this uh, tower. But I think that will be the end of my uh, scouting trip in Alaska. We'll uh, again be uh, recovering the Dairy Longhorn, probably next episode, just to get that done. And uh, recovering any missing upgrades, like I think one or two of them for sure we're missing at this point, uh, off screen, just so we don't, uh, because they're probably not going to be very interesting to get to and uh, recover, just uh, more driving through some terrible muck like this, and uh, the episode after this, we'll probably just uh, head back to Michigan with uh, some seriously upgraded trucks and uh, handle all of the problems that they, those guys still have over there. Also, I, I'm, I'm a complete tool. I said... Uh, the X-Tacks are like the exhaust, but I, they were the, the air intake. Uh, I just uh, remember now that I said something really bad. It's the air intake uh, chimneys, whatever, that are higher, that allows me to actually for the deeper waters with the truck, not the exhaust. The exhaust is a thing that goes out and about. With this uh, final tower being uncovered, I think at this point we are quite well and done with Alaska. So, uh, we're gonna probably be ending this episode right here, guys. If you liked my, uh, if you like my series, if you like um, 
see me wade through this pod if you enjoy my commentary on the game and all that good stuff please do like this video it helps me uh, comment down below again that helps with uh, the youtube algorithms if only it will help with uh, uh, me just um, connecting with you guys and seeing what you guys liked about this series what you don't like maybe you can uh, change some of the change some of the way we do things around here with your guys help maybe uh, make a better uh, series uh, why not share this video with your friends maybe they'll like it as well if you guys uh, play um, snow runner together and uh, thank you guys for watching again i will uh, see you guys in the next one